Ladies and gentlemen, I did not want to make a YouTube video about this. I thought this would be just like simple problem. I fix it really quick and then my car gets going again, but that's not the case. See, while I was shopping at Walmart last night, I was stopped at a red light and my car just stalled. Nothing happened, just like engine dies. It started back up again, but then it happened again this morning. So there is definitely a problem with my engine. And when I was looking at one of my uh, injectors, I can see, let me see if I can show this on film here. Do you see all of that? Nope, focus. Do you see all of that wet stuff down there? That is fuel. This fuel injector right here is leaking. So my fuel pressure is off and whenever my engine isn't like under load, it just dies. So it looks like today we get to take apart the entire fuel line to get to this one component. And hopefully my car still runs at the end of this. The first thing that we need to do is we need to get rid of all of these wires. All of these wires are in the way and we need to move them to be able to get to the components we need. A lot of them are clip off, so we can probably just pull them out. Take this guy out. There we go. Let's bring up some space. This is actually a first for me. I've never worked on fuel lines before. There we go, another connector. Now I see that there's a little metal clip in there. I imagine that's the thing that's holding this in place. I can probably just pop that metal clip out and pull this whole injector, at least the connection, the electrical connection out of it. I wanna reiterate, I have no idea what I'm doing. It's not coming out very easily. That's not a good sign. Oh wait, I heard something click. Maybe that's good. Ha, I got it. Ugh, there are so many wires in the way. I need to get to this thing back here, but all of my spark plugs are in the way. So we're gonna take my spark plugs out and then see if we can't unwrap them from around here. Oh, hey, look at that. I was looking at the electrical connections on my uh, spark plug wire, and this is super rusty. This could actually be the problem. It could just be a bad connection. Oh, hmm. <laughs> I am replacing these spark plug wires in a second. I've got, uh, they're on the way. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take a metal wire brush and we're gonna go ru scratch off all of that rust there and see if that fixes the problem. Because the reason that a car might idle is because it's not getting enough fuel, it's not getting enough spark, or it's not getting enough oxygen. I know it's getting oxygen, and I thought it was getting a good spark, but seeing the spark plug here, seeing how rusty that is, it could be that we're just not making like enough uh, fire. Oh, this is fantastic. I was fully prepared to rip all of this like fuel line stuff off, but if I can just clean up a little spark plug, or I think this is called an ejection co or, uh, ignition coil. I, if I can just clean this up, that would be super cool. That fixes the problem. I wonder if this means I should replace the ignition coil too, or if just doing this is enough. I know that sometimes like some like actual car people, they use like a silicone grease to stop this from happening so that rust can't do rust things. But my metal wire brush is gonna have to be sufficient. Again, I am replacing these. I'm just doing this to see if this fixes the problem immediately. Let's plug these guys back in. Oh, I need to reattach all of those wires that I took apart. You can see the inside of the spark plug boot is actually super rusty too. I want I can't fit my toothbrush thing in there. I wonder if there's a way for me to clean the rust out. If this fixes the problem, if that if that little spark plug is the reason that my engine's stalling, then I don't need to take apart any of my fuel system, which is really good. We are gonna go dig through all of these tool chests to see if there's something that is kind of like this, except more like a pipe cleaner, something that's straight and I can just twist and scratch all of the rust out from there. My dad's garage actually has quite a bit of tools. It's pretty nifty. I could not find anything, so we're going to check under the sink. Hopefully we can find something that looks like a pipe cleaner. Um, sponges. Maybe there's like a rust remover spray thing. I'm not sure why there would be rust remover under the kitchen sink though. I don't know. Okay, I cannot find anything that I'm supposed to use to clean this out. You're not even supposed to clean them out, you're supposed to replace them. So we're going to do something a little bit more ghetto, a little bit more janky to clean this boot. We are going to take this screwdriver and we are going to take this sandpaper. And we're gonna make our own little uh, little pipe cleaner. Something like that. Now we'll just stick this in there and twist and hopefully it'll be abrasive enough to get all of the rust out. I'm trying to get this in the frame of the camera so you guys can see what we're doing. Maybe I should use a, okay, flathead is not a good idea because it doesn't fit in there. We need to use a Phillips. Okay, we got a new screwdriver. Let's take our boot and try to clean it. I think I've cleaned it out enough to be able to test this to see if this fixes the problem or if it's worse or... Oh, it's not even sticking well anymore. Um, I might have made it too loose. Oops. So here's what I think we're gonna do. I think we're gonna take this, I think we're gonna take like a razor blade and we're gonna cut the rubber off of this and then we're going to like use pliers and really clamp it onto this little nub right there. Okay, so we come over here, we take the razor blade and we're just going to cut the little boot off. Just real nice and gently. Gently like. Good. 
Okay, let's pull this. Oh, look at all of that rust. Yeah, that's not good. Focus. <sighs> that is incredible, honestly. I am legitimately surprised my engine was able to run at all. But we can definitely use a toothbrush on this now. Okay, now we will put the- yeah, you see it's not even like making a good connection. We will put this back on and then we will crimp it with wire cutters. We just gotta make sure that it gets a good connection. So, funny thing, I was about to actually just leave it like this, but these are like really, really high voltages and I don't want the voltage jumping from this like other things, so I think I'm gonna put the boot back on, even though it's cut. I'm gonna put the boot back on that. Now that this is back on and moderately safe, I just need to reconnect all of these electrical things that I disconnected. And I still don't know what that fluid down there is. It might be fuel, I don't know. I really hope that this is the problem and that that's just like rainwater or something. I don't know. Maybe condensation. Maybe it's like oil. Moment of truth, let's go start it up and see what happens. One of the things that I've noticed that happens before is whenever the engine's cold, like it is now, it just didn't want to start sometimes. Where's my key? Okay, now moment of truth. So if this just starts up the first time, then I think that we're probably good. That's cool. My engine seems to be fixed. Moral of the story, change your spark plugs and your spark plug wires.